Alrighty, well, uh, morning everybody. Uh, well, I'm still kind of in the middle of setting up here, so just being a little absent-minded. But um, last, I think last night during my stream, uh, between between unspoiled nodes, I was farming a gatherer script. I started browsing these forums, and I came up upon a, a very interesting thread here. And uh, I kind of talked about it a little bit last night, but uh, I figured it, uh, it deserved to be something that should be covered more in depth this time around. And um, I'm gonna try to keep up. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep all the text towards the lower half of the screen, so uh, so I'm not covering up uh, not covering up who's saying it. But uh, a girl named Misty Regions actually came up with a pretty good idea. Um, the problem with the, or like like I like I usually do for those that have never seen me do these before, uh, what I'll usually do is I'll highlight you know certain key points that I'm trying to you know that I'm bringing up and basically I'm just gonna be uh, running commentary on all this. So basically, what she's saying is problem with the community developers is the community doesn't understand it takes money to implement even the smallest um smallest quality of life indirectly yes i mean i don't think anybody in squeenix does this for free so they're so they're always asking for stuff that's unrealistic because the game isn't a fan service it's a business um whereas to me where is it? there it is it's kind of both I mean, you bas you basically can't have one without the other. If you if you put a feature in there that nobody likes, then you know nobody want you know nobody wants to play your game now because it sucks, and they're all gonna unsub, and you lose money doing that. So, to an extent, you have to please the fans. So it kinda, it's kind of kind of synergistic. So. Oh, and also um. To give you a heads up, this is going to be somewhat rehearsed. Um, I got past the first page and got about halfway down the second page, and I figured I better make a video about this, uh, especially when I'm talking out loud to myself. So I need to get it documented. But her solution, for every single person complaining about races, housing, whatever it may be, Square should allow a crowdfunded development option. Um... But like I said, I think I talked about this last night in my stream, but I thought it'd be better to also go in depth in this video here. Um, first off, let me check and make sure my mic's actually working, and yes, it is. Uh, which, uh, my opinion on that is going to be kind of in the middle. On one end, you know, if, um, if um, somebody mails me a letter... And then, if you wanted me to reply to you, it, I think it would matter. It'd be a matter of courtesy and a way of showing you care if you also send me a self-addressed stomped envelope, so I don't have to go through this whole trouble of the whole tedious trouble of sitting here writing down, writing down your address, and then having to go up here writing down my own address up here, and then having to scrounge around for a stamp, get it on there, and then you know doing all that. And this is especially true when, one, I probably don't want anything to do with you. I may not want anything to do with you to begin with. You know, like maybe we don't get along for some reason. But you're, you know, you're, you're just trying to reach out to me or something. You know, you know, see, I get a letter with all this stuff you wrote down that I probably don't care for, or that I'm, chances are I may not even care to listen, want to read, might just rip it up and throw it away. And then you put something on the bottom that says, write me back. I mean, hell no, I ain't writing you back. I don't even know you. I don't even like you, etc. And I'm throwing it away. You know, that kind of thing. You know, but maybe... Maybe if you would at least put a self-addressed stomped envelope in there. You know, maybe to at least show you care. Or, you know, to show that you're not just squawking at me just for the sake of squawking at me. You know, just I need to vent it out. And, you know, and I'm, I'm expected to care somehow. You know, you're at least you're showing you care enough that you won't appreciate my reply by putting that in there. But, um, it sounds like I might sound like I'm going a little off the rails here, so I'll I'll try to steer it back. Um, I kind of see that that scenario there. 
I kind of see the same thing with here too. Um, you know, a lot of players in this game, they'll just sit there and... I don't like the fact that it takes six hours for my Chocobo to change colors. It needs to happen instantly. Make it happen, Blizzard. We pay your su or we pay your bills. You guys, you guys are rich. You can easily do this. Make it happen. But then, you know, that's it. They, they some, you know, they somehow expect Squeenix to bend over backwards for this person, somehow. You know, but maybe, maybe you know, maybe if those same players actually did something like this, start a Kickstarter project, you know, help them out with the funding, you know. Or bas basically, I kind of, I kind of see both sides. There's like two sides of this, so to me, it can go either way. This is what I was trying to explain in my stream last night, but as I'm kind of in the middle of like watching the clock and watching my chat, watching the people talking or trying to respond to people talking to me, it kind of hard for me to be in two places at once. But anyway, getting back on track, <clears throat> you know, I, it can it can go either way here. On um, you know, maybe the players should start a Kickstarter project to at least show they care enough about the issue to want to do something about it and not just. And not just basically bark orders at Squeenix. Tell them, you know, you know, make it happen. Do it. You know, and then just, you know, leave it at that and not even, not even try to help them. Hey, you know, you know, if I was, you know, if I was a game dev, I mean, that's one of the last things I want to hear. You know, fix your stupid game. We pay your bills. Do it. You know, and, you know, maybe if, maybe if those same players, hey, we're thinking of starting a kicks. Hey, we know your money is tight over with you guys and stuff. Uh, we're thinking of starting a Kickstarter project and to help you get this new feature in. You know, again, self-addressed stomped envelope with, you know, send it with your letter. Same thing here, you know. At least maybe try to help them out a little bit. And uh, I'm one of those where I don't think our subscription, actually, it, I think the, sub the subscription that everybody pays, to me, that's not income in their pockets. That's revenue. That money there, that just helps pay the pay the bills and just to keep the thing running. It's not, it's not going directly to their paychecks. Our subscription is just helping to keep the lights on. That's it. I mean, stuff in the mock station. That's probably going to be the stuff that um, uh, that's going to be their paycheck. Um, I believe um, if I'm guessing right, the junk mail that I get in my mailbox. I think that's what actually, that's actually what the, um, that goes to the paychecks. That goes in the, uh, the male employee's paychecks is the, um, the junk mail, the advertisement. I think that's how it works. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that, but the general idea there. So, and so as far as that goes, I don't, I don't believe our subs are paying their, you know, our subs are paying their bills only, or actually I do, but literally. And that's all it's doing. No more, no less. Uh, but I think I might be going off on a tangent here, so I'll, I'll bring it back. Uh, basically, same thing here. On one side, I can see the case for it. To at least let Squeenix know you care enough about whatever issue you have to see it fixed. That you're going to help them out by, you know, doing a crowdfunding thing. Um, but I can also see a downside to it, too. Uh, I know um, I'm... I'm kind of an independent person. Um, I want to pay my own bills. I mean, I don't... This is one of... I was pretty much burnly bad when I, many years ago, back in my late teens, early 20s, when I had a roommate. Um, he was pretty much a scam artist, too. I was scammed out of a lot of money. You know, I had to pay him for this or pay him for that. You know, just extra bills. I mean, it, details, are, details are hazy. I don't remember much about it. But generally, I got to where... I want to, I want to be the one paying all the bills. I don't, I want to trust anybody else doing it for me, mainly because if they take care of it, that means I'm beholden to that person. So, I don't want to be in that person's debt. So, I can see the downside to them starting a, starting a Kickstarter project. I want to be the, I want to be the one to pay them. I want to be the one to pay for whatever feature they want, out of my own pocket. This way, it's my money, and. You know, you can't tell me what to do with it. I don't want... You, you get you, you get the idea, though. So I can see a downside to this. You know, they're putting their own... You know, they're putting their own money in it. Now, Squeenix would have to be beholden to those players. 
Um, I can kind of see why uh, politics are kind of corrupt too in this country, because uh, a lot of you know, a lot of corporations make huge campaign donations. You know now, those candidates are not beholden to whatever company is uh, lining their pockets. Whoever's making those big money contributions, now those candidates are beholden to those guys. So, so basically, it can cause the downside for Kickstarter and project stuff like this is it can it can cause corruption because now Squeenix is gonna have to be beholden to those players. You, you gotta see where I'm going with this. You see the parallel, you know. Corporations donating soft money to to the potential candidates. Candidates now have to kowtow to these guys. I could see the same exact thing happening here. If uh, the players start Kickstarter and projects for Squeenix, now Squeenix is gonna have to be beholden to these guys. They're gonna basically they're gonna be at their players beck and call now. So there could be a lot of corruption going on. In the, going on in this game, so I can definitely see the downside to it. So, um, so I guess my uh, short answer to this is gonna be no, but find alternatives. I mean, again, I agree with the spirit. I mean, theoretically, I agree with this, but as far as uh, application-wise, as far as far as execution, uh, -uh. it leaves the door wide open to corruption. But uh, I think the rest of this, I think she just goes into like the logistics of it all and how it would work and all that, which I don't, it, it, it pretty much goes over my head. But I, but yeah, again, I, again, this is the, this is the drawback right here. You're allowing players to use their own money. Basically, they're funding Squeenix. And it can cause corruption. Oh, what I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, same thing I do on all these videos, I'm going to go on down the line, and I'm going to comment on everybody else's posts. And uh, I'm not trying to call anybody out. Um, not trying to expose anybody or anything, but uh, um, reading other, other people's opinions can actually help inspire me to come up with my own. I can learn through learn new things from other players and whatnot so here goes oh let me uh once again check and make sure that okay my mic's working oh. my mic has a habit of uh, suddenly cutting off for no apparent reason so i have to i have to check it every so often are you put off by people's own I don't think, she, at least as I'm under, Raldo, at least, at least as far as I'm understanding this, she's not really going for the people who have actually have legitimate concerns. Um, there's people out there, but I think they're a, they're a small minority compared to the enormous amount of people that piss them on about some feature that they, they don't have or something that works faulty, but then just demand that Squeenix figures it out somehow doesn't explain a method. Oh, well, they're game devs. They know what they're doing. They can figure it out. I think that's what she's aiming at. What else are we doing? Most people are complaining from a place of love. Um, apples and oranges, different experiences on that. Again, um, the small minority of people, I mean, the ones you probably see on the forums a lot, the, one, the ones on the forums that actually do have legitimate concerns, most of the ones I see on the forums actually do, but people that browse the forums are going to be a very small minority compared to the hundreds and thousands of people that aren't on the forums. The majority, but in the game itself, that's where you're going to see almost all the piss whiners. You know, they don't they don't actually care to do anything about it. They'd rather just complain about it. I'm going to finish off my green tea here real quick. We're already paying for them to do work. Um, again, I said this earlier. I don't... 
our subscription fees, they're not going directly into the employees' pockets. It's just revenue. It's just, it's just, the, it's just there to keep the system running, just to keep the bills paid. So. But again, um, I think we're um, I think we're on two different opinions here. Again, I don't think she's aiming at the um. Uh, I don't think she's aiming at the people with legit concerns and actually care and might actually, you know, know of a viable way of pulling it off. I think she's just going after the straight up whiny babies that just complain for the sake of complaining but have but offer no offer no suggestions or alternatives. Okay, and I, again I don't I don't know, I guess citation needed, but again I I'm guessing our subscription money alone isn't isn't making the employees rich. All that is is just to keep the wheels turning. So but I'm kinda getting stuck in this post, so let me continue on. Let's not give small Indian company Um She'd have to be specific, but uh, I don't know much about it. But act, they already act like they are a major AAA company for most of the year. To me, I find that to be a very good mentality to have. I mean, it, I mean, what you have, I mean, what you have can easily be taken away. I mean, one little small tiny example: if all of your if all of your wealth and riches is tied up into a bank account, and if that bank account were somehow to be hacked. Dot, 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 dot. So. So if they have that, so it's kind of good to have that mentality. Pay attention to, pay attention to your money. Um, it also has to be developed using SE crystal tools. No clue on that one. case of hiring new people, training them. Um, um, I would assume that if they were going to go this route, their first option are, are going to be Japanese people. I could see them outsourcing, outsourcing the help, but again, I don't, I'm not Yoshi P. I don't, I don't work for the company, so I don't know. Um, I'll just move right along. Um, yeah, I think this here, this is best just going to be left, left as a conversation between those two. doubt it. This ain't a troll post. I actually find this to be a pretty brilliant idea. If if only theoretically. No, if it were a troll post, it'd probably be more along the lines of what I said earlier. You know. I'm tired of potions having five minute cooldowns. They need to get rid of the cooldowns of those potions. Make it happen, Squeenix. You know, and then not offer any methods or anything. That would be a troll post. It takes time and human resources. Um, again, I'm more I'm more into just the spirit of it, and not necessarily the letter of it. So, I'm, gee, they're getting technical on this. Kind of goes over my head. Yeah, quite a 
most of those people are probably going to be browsing the forums, but the vast majority, the vast majority that you're going to see in game, don't. As for the idea of the thread, I wonder if Mock Shop. And it, it, it kind of goes along with what I said earlier. I think um, Mock Station, I think, is is the income. It is what's, um, it is the, uh, it is literally the paycheck. The paychecks that get handed out to all the employees. I'm just worried that it would lead to bad behaviors where they don't add anything significant unless it's been kickstarted by players first. Um, I can see it. Thinking for a moment. It's also along the lines of, um, in real life, at least here in this country, uh, a lot of people say uh, campaigns are very expensive. Um, candidates running campaigns it costs a lot of money to run one of those. That could be an, a subtle way of saying, yeah, I'll run. If you want to give me a whole bunch of money first. So I, I could see this happening as well. But uh, given that uh, Squinix is a Japanese company, I would think the mentality over there is different than over here. But then again, I don't know anything about Japanese politics. So I don't know how things are run over there. monetizing the results. SD doesn't put its own forwards as much. If I'm understanding this correctly, this means uh, Greed could probably take over. Big corporations with loot box fever. That's Greed. Yup. Claim they can't make anything wild them, which you know is not true. Yup. That's Greed. Or, as I said earlier, corruption. And again, the downside to Kickstarter projects. That can, I mean, a good idea in theory, but in practice, it's just going to breed corruption. Even though they have massive funds. Yeah, but he, he basically said what I said earlier. It can open the door for corruption. Okay, that can be factored in, so it's... Okay, so yep. I think that's what she was getting at, too, with this, with this whole idea. This isn't really directed at people with legit complaints and who also have uh, legit methods of solving them. I think she's mainly going after the, um... She's mainly going after the people who just demand Squeenix do something about it, but not offer up any help of any kind. They have to they have to invest in this IP diversify their product IP income portfolio or is she having a few lapses in punctuation here they have to own, reinvest in this IP diversify their product line by investing in the new IP and one thing Ugh, that went over my head Asking for us to pay for these Western developers. Okay, I kind of said something. I kind of touched on this earlier too. I would think um, if they were gonna hire their own help, they would probably go in for they would probably go in in house or in country, I should say, 
They'd be going after uh, Japanese people that would presumably speak Japanese. They would only outsource their um. They would only outsource their employment as a last resort. Because yeah, I mean Mer Americans by default don't speak Japanese. That being the case, they're gonna have to bring them in and teach them English. And from what I understand, Japanese is an enormously complex language. They couldn't learn it all in one year. Okay. Yeah, she just said it. She just said it. Requires a minimum. Probably emphasis on the word minimum. Of five years of study. To be allowed to take the exam. To be considered fluent enough in Japanese for a work piece for that sort of company. Um, I would think um, that would be being able to speak conversational Japanese. Like you wouldn't be able to be fluent or eloquent or anything. Yeah, I think she just said the same thing here too. To be considered fluent enough. You basically need you you basically have been awarded the Krusty the Clown seal of approval. It's not just good. It's good enough. Won't be feasible to the time skills involved in getting them on board. Like I said, it's a multi year process getting the talent. Yep. So and again, it's like I said earlier, I love the spirit of the idea. I love the theory behind it, but in practice, it's going to be next to impossible to pull off. So I'd say no, but find an alternative. But try to find a workaround for it. I mean, not a, not a good idea, but it is a step in the right direction. Because the code issue NDAs would have to be signed on staff brought onto the team. It sounds like she's just gonna give a whole rundown of the whole process involved, so it's I'll move right along. Okay, she probably I'm guessing she knows more about this than I do. We'd have to train up Western developers. Again, she, I'm guessing she knows more about this than I do. Actually starting kick, Kickstarter projects as, an, as a AAA developer would get him in trouble with Japanese law. I don't know how the law works. I guess I'll just take her word for it. Once again, the ad of the cash shop and given what little I know about how things are run over there, I would think that the cash shop is actually what is actually the source of their paychecks the subscription fees just keep the business running all right move right along page two they can take part of that budget from the bag 15 euros for mount glams that should have been implemented and use it um, again, that's probably their paychecks. I mean, developers want to eat too and have a roof over their heads. I want to state that in the past, SC has acted like an Indian company with no money. Yeah, but again, um, I actually like that mentality. I mean, I mean, hell, lotteries. In this country here, there is numerous people who win lotteries but then blow it all, just like that. A lot of people tend to be stupid with lots of money. Um, probably one of the biggest reasons why is they've never had that kind of money before. It's almost like, I'd say it's almost like getting your first shot of heroin. That very first time you get it. Oh, wow. I mean, I've never, I've never done heroin before, but you know, it, if, it, if it's anything like the first time I ever took many things, it's like a amphetamine tablets. That was it. Oh, I'm ready to get things done. Oh, come on, let's hurry. Let's, let's go. You know, and then go on and like stock out like hundred kids an hour. You know, go home and clean my house. You know, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's never as good as that first time. Um, but but that's that's what I mean when I say even if you're even if you're rich as hell like Donald Trump. You still want to have that Indian company frame of mind. You still got to operate under a budget. I mean, 
mean it I mean it's not that I wouldn't even I wouldn't call that greed. You're just you know that what you have can be taken away. You know. It's e it's easy it's always been easier to destroy than it is to create a thing. Mr. Spock said that in one of the Star Trek movies. It's always been easier to destroy than it has been to create. Uh, shows are making record profits, I guess. Like I said, I don't... I'll take her at her word. I don't follow this kind of thing, so... The hell Yoshi P went through just to beg for the last round of server upgrades. Even as SE funnel money hand over fist on it. Okay, I might have to read this over. Beg for that. Whoa. I don't know what the other projects were, so. You should never ever let a company like it. Let a company like SE treat itself like they're a small startup with barely any money to them. Um, I don't. Funnel money, hand over fist. Well, what were the other projects that they were funding? I mean, if they're just building mansions and monuments to themselves, then yeah, I'd agree with her. But I don't. Again, I don't know what the other projects were. I mean, if all the, if they're uh, if they're using all that money for Final Fantasy XIV to build statues and their own likenesses, I mean, then yeah, they they shouldn't be given they shouldn't be given money then. But again, I don't know what other what the other projects that she was talking about were. Again, the potential for corruption. Um, something like this, I probably agree with Enla on then. If you need the funds to be raised, then it's got to be done internally. I'm the same way. I want to pay my own bills. I don't want somebody else doing it for me. Okay, Crystal Tools is used to build 1.0. From what I hear about that, it was a massive clusterfuck, and one of the reasons for its downfall. Okay. The developers use a luminous engine for most. There's likely still 1.0 spaghetti code floating around, and I'd really be surprised if it's continued. Cumbersome way. Um, I don't know. I don't know if someone's gonna have to. I guess the short answer to this citation needed. Um, again, I don't, this is, with me, it's mostly a gut feeling, um, but the subscription fee, it will, I'm guessing the subscription fee, that's just there to keep the, just to keep the operation going. That's just paying the operation cost, the overhead. It's, it's not actually direct income or anything. That's probably taken care of with the, uh, MOG station. want me to still be subscribed next month and the month after that we are telling them so not only am I crowdfunding their bill um I guess uh, apples and oranges on that one um, I guess the same answer I'd give this one I gave to the last post uh, citation needed Okay, this was the post that made me want to make a video about this. This guy got it. He said exactly what I was saying, too. 
I might be misunderstanding the OP here, but I believe this isn't so much aimed at the, hey, you know what might be a good idea, players, but aimed at the, I pay you, should pay my subs, so therefore, I am entitled to ban X and Y because I want it, and I alone make sure he has a rope over his head, players. Could be wrong, but that was appealing that I got, too. You can't argue, you can't argue with good logic. So if you got players, mostly the one, mostly, I see them here on the forums, don't see a whole lot of them in-game that actually are coming up with good suggestions that Squinix could do. Like, hey, we could pull this off, and here's how. You know, I, I mean, though, I don't think this, pull, this thread here was directed at those kind of people. Because they, I mean, their logic, at least, presumably, is airtight. I mean, you know, they got it down, they know exactly how, how it works. How to make it work and what to do and all that it's they got the you know they're the man with they're the man with the plans you know that kind of thing so i think this whole thread here is directed at the is directed at these guys and i pro i totally forgot i wanted to say this at the start of the video but uh um former navy seal and ultra marathon runner dave got david goggins he basically said it perfectly most people who critique and judge you haven't even tried what you failed at. You know, you know, there's a failure in the game, but the people that are judging and playing, they're just too fat and lazy because they're all rich. I mean, they haven't even tried being a game dev before. Hell, I tried developing my own game maybe once or twice. It's a bitch. I don't even know where to go. I think I, I even tried making a text-based RPG once. I just basically stood there slack-jawed at all the options and, you know, all the tabs and all the things that uh, you could potentially do. I'm like, da, 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 da. I mean, so I'm not even, so I can only imagine what a Final Fantasy 14 game dev has to go through. So I'm in no position to tell them how to do this. I mean, I'm in no position to tell them what their job is. But like I said, this, this was the post here that made me want to make this video. Um, I think this is subjective right here. Oh, okay. I thought she was complaining. Okay, uh, I'd have to read that over and over. Entitled or question why the game has gotten so much. Or why such a beloved teammate. I don't understand what she's saying. Okay, so, is it tuna or is it chicken? Uh, I, this whole thing kind of went over my head. Okay, from the way things are looking right now, it looks like they're all going to have conversations amongst themselves. So, it says we have 16 million players population. I don't know exact numbers of active players, but maybe half of that are paying themselves regularly. So, imagine how much monthly income they make. Um, again, again, I think all this, I think all the subscription fees are going to keep the thing, or just to keep it running. The, the employee's income is coming from the cash shop. I'm guessing that's how it, that's how it's run, but. Well, we'll continue to 
strive to maintain a regular 3.5 month major update cycle. We must also ensure that sufficient time is secured for the meticulous development of new content or else the quality of it. This is a complex problem that can't be solved by simply throwing more money and people at it as it impacts Okay, and she's got she's got the citation on it. This is what this is what we need to see more of. So so far I hadn't really seen it. Everybody had their own a lot of it was I don't know the exact numbers, but dot dot dot. But yeah, it, again, they're the devs, not me. They know a lot more about this than I do. And again, based on my very limited experience trying to develop a game, uh, I don't even, I've already walked a mile in their shoes. It, I'll believe, I'll believe them. I'll definitely take their word for it. If it's a complex problem, I'll totally agree with them. Um, again, again, citation needed. I think he was trying to say the same thing I was trying to say. Most of the profit from this game will be pumped back into it. I... I would... I'm guessing what... I've seen this, um... I've seen this referred to a few times in this thread. It sounds like what they're saying when they say putting their money back into the game. I'm guessing by what they mean is... It's... It's not... It's not profit. It's revenue. It's... It's just there to keep the thing running. I'm guessing that's what they mean when they say that. Again, I'm not real hip to this kind of lingo, so... And I don't know what the elsewhere is. Um, uh, again, I'm probably going to give you the same answer on that one. My default answer... It's just keep subscription, just keeps things up and running. Retainer costs and money I spent at the mock station, that's what's actually uh, putting the money in their pockets. mean rebuilding the game for a second time okay it's too big it's too big to go back and do that now that they have yep yep it's like trying to make it's like trying to make the titanic do a 180 do a 180 turn good good luck with that you have to do it first so basically building your third iteration of the game from nothing yep yep some time to fix inventory code and you I agree with this I agree with that I agree with that make it a make it a guilty it seems it seems awfully uh, innocuous I think that's the word I'm looking for to have to pay real money to have a have an extra retainer that seems like something you'd want to pay for with uh, in-game currency. It just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I would, I would, I mean, I'd rather, I'd gladly pay more on the mock station. Make everything more expensive. I'd gladly pay more for that. You know, that was, uh, or let me, let me rewind back. I would gladly pay more real money to buy stuff on the mock station. Nation and then, than to have to pay real money for something like a retainer. 
I mean, something like that I'd rather just pay real money for. I mean, I'd pay like, in-game currency for. I think um I think she in a roundabout sort of way gave her own opinion. Um re deleted her own post reason was just repeating what everyone else said. I think this here is probably just a subtle way of saying Time to kill the threat, guys. We're all repeating ourselves, and I'm starting to get that impression, too. Everybody's just uh, having conversations amongst themselves and not really not really responding to, uh, to the common threat. Um, in other words, uh, whatever her name is, the threat starter, I think, I think this threat is officially dead now. So, that being said, um, I believe I said my piece on it as well, so... I'll just go and kill the video here. So, thanks for watching, everybody. And take care.